Stay a while and listen, as the Skull Circle presents a tale of brass Lovecraftian terror. Before we begin our tale, did you know that we release new stories for free every week on Wednesdays? Be certain to subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, Spotify, Podbean, or whatever your favorite podcast app is. That way, you'll never miss out when we release free bonus stories other days of the week. Never forget, visit theskullcircle.com to stay up to date with all of our current happenings. And to also visit our story archive, sorted by origin and region. Now then, this begins the tale of the TikTok Man and the Clockwork Heart, as told by Sir Henry Astor. In a great city of brass and steam, there was a man, and this man's name was Peter Monk. Peter was rather discontent with his life, for he, like his father, was a gear sorter and degreaser. It was an honest job, but it did not pay very well. And so Peter lived in his mother's home, spending his days working and his nights drinking away his sorrows and sleeping. Peter had greater aspirations in life, to be a lightning collector like many of the rich men in town, like Atlas, the prince of the dancing hall, Azrael, the duke of the gamblers, or even Moneybags Durant. He spent his time in these taverns watching these men with jealousy and contempt. Peter was certain that he was stuck in his lot in life as a gear sorter. He had believed this for some time. Until one day, as he was on his way back home, after a particularly long day of work, he was walking past an alleyway when he heard it. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. The ticking of a clock coming from down an alley. Peter Monk was confused. He had never heard a clock coming from this alley before. His mother wasn't expecting him home for some time now so he decided that he would follow the noise. He went down the alleyway, following the strange tick-tocks, passing through ancient moldering stone paths, with increasingly bizarre machinery jutting from the walls. The further Peter walked, the louder and more insistent was the insidious ticking. Peter began to be filled with a gnawing fear, the further that he walked through these ancient alleyways. He was going to turn back and run the way he came when he saw the man standing behind him. The man was dressed in a finely tailored suit with a tall, fancy hat. The truly horrific revelation was looking upon his face and seeing the eldritch machinery lurking behind the skin. He walked towards him in a jerking, inhuman manner. Hello, Peter Monk. It is a pleasure to finally meet you. Hello? Who are you? Peter said with fear. He grinned, and Peter saw the glinting of his brass teeth. Why, I am the TikTok man, and I heard that you are in need of some assistance. That's very generous, sir, but I am am in no need of any assistance. Oh, Peter! Peter, of course you are. You yearn for money and fame, and I am here to help you. The TikTok's man, chisel-like teeth, gleamed in the strange light of the alleyway. You want to be my benefactor, Peter said sheepishly. At what costs? The TikTok man's eyes shone in the light. Oh, nothing that you need to worry about, dear Peter. All that I require from you in exchange for all the money that you will ever need is your heart. As he said this, the man's grin grew wider. Peter stumbled back in fear. My heart? Don't don't I need that? Oh, no, 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 Peter. I'm going to give you something that you can use as a replacement, and once you have that, you won't miss your weak little heart even a little bit. I even give you my word that it won't hurt a bit. Peter's head began to spin. All the wealth he could ever want and all he had to do was give up his heart. 
his weak little heart that all it did was make him sad and upset. He was terrified. His knees quaked and his blood ran cold. But he looked the TikTok man in the eye and said, I accept your offer, Mr. TikTok man. The TikTok man sprung into motion. Oh, good. Now, 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 dear Peter, please follow me to my workshop. Peter followed the TikTok man through the strange curving alleyways and dangerous-looking machinery. He opened up a brass door covered in achingly intricate carvings. The door swung open, and the TikTok man ushered Peter inside. By the time Peter worked up the nerve to walk in, the TikTok man was standing by a surgical table with many sharp instruments hanging above it. Now, Peter, all you need to do is sign this contract and then lie down on the table. Peter was eager now, and he rushed over and signed the paper. Good. Now, lie down and we can get started. The TikTok man revealed a clockwork heart of metal gears and rubber piping and set it on the table. Peter climbed onto the table as the TikTok man produced a long syringe. Now, this won't hurt a bit. For a moment, the TikTok man appeared to be a horrifying skull of brass, steel, gears, and wire. The needle sunk in, and the last thing that Peter saw was that horrible skull and a very sharp knife. It felt like days later when Peter woke up in a very comfortable coach, in a very fine new waistcoat. Inside the coach with him were many large bags. Peter was excited and began to look through them. The bags were all filled with shining gold coins. He was rich. He was overjoyed. Then he quickly remembered what that meant. He became very quiet and tried to listen to his heart. He heard it, very faintly, the whirring of gears coming from inside his breast. He found that he didn't care. He had all the money in the world. What did he need some old heart for? Peter did what anyone would do in that point, and he lived life to the fullest. He married a beautiful spouse, bought a profitable business, and built the largest house in the city. All this he did while celebrating, drinking, and gambling with his new friends, Atlas, Asriel, and Duran. It didn't take long, though, for you see there was a downside to a clockwork heart. Soon the joined things began to wane. Then they went away completely, and Peter had to do more in order to feel anything. Excessive drinking, powerful hallucinogens, strange rituals and celebrations in the woods and ruins. After a time, even these hedonistic extremes did nothing but cause him annoyance. Soon, the only thing he found some attachment to was watching his wealth grow, and he became a terribly bitter miser. His wife, on the other hand, was very generous. And one day, she found a poor beggar out on the streets, and she took pity on him. She brought him into her home, gave him food, fortifying wine to drink, and some coin to see him through the week. Peter came home and quickly found out what she had done. He became furious, and his rage waxed to untold heights. He yelled, and he paced, and he screamed, and then, all so suddenly, he struck her hard in the head with his walking stick. When he came to, he checked her and found that she did not draw breath. Peter realized what he had become, and all it took was the life of his pretty little wife. He realized that he wanted to be rid of this terrible clockwork heart, no matter the risks. He began to research and seek information, and he found that information through the help of a man and his library. That man's name was Mr. Carter, and he was happy to help anyone escape the TikTok man. Mr. Carter said, Now, Peter, you made a mistake in entering this deal, and while I can't promise you relief, I will give you what help I can. 
Please, Mr. Carter, I'll do anything necessary to escape this curse. Tell me what it is that I must do. So Carter began. The TikTok man has a problem. He's very prideful and thinks that no mortal man can best him. And, well, he's right. Which is why he will go in with help. You must wear this amulet around your neck. You have two you can choose from. Some people think it looks like a tree branch, others a five-pointed star with a little eye in the center. But the shape matters not. Once you get into the workshop, you must discredit him and question his pride. He will seek to prove his power to you by showing you the heart. Once you manage to convince him to put it back, that is when you present the sign, for he will be unable to harm you then. Peter did what Carter told him and sought out the TikTok man's workshop through the Stygian alleyways. After walking down those winding paths for what felt like much longer than he had walked the first time, he heard that noise again. Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. And when he turned around, the tick-tock man was standing there behind him. Oh, Peter, whatever can I help you with? Are you in need of more money? Oh, no, tick-tock man. I actually come with a question. I think that you double-crossed me, for I felt an emotion earlier. I don't think you replaced my heart at all. There was a sound like the grinding of gears from the TikTok man. I tell you, Mr. Monk, that is quite impossible. For I have your heart in a jar on a shelf in my home. Will you show it to me, just to be sure? The TikTok man sneered and said, very well, Mr. Monk, if you would just follow me. They walked back into that same workshop, and Peter saw the shelves lined with hearts. The TikTok man reached up and removed one. This one is yours, Peter. Why, that could just be a wax one in a jar. You have no proof at all. The TikTok man began to steam. Very well, Mr. Monk. I will prove it to you that it is your heart. The TikTok man pushed Peter back into the operating chair and, using the syringe, numbed him of pain. The TikTok man cut him open, removed the clockwork heart, and replaced his old heart. All at once, Peter felt all the emotions that he had missed for these past few years. He felt that he would die from the guilt of his horrible actions. Now, Mr. Monk, you know quite well that it is your heart. Now, let's put the clockwork heart back in, shall we? Not so fast, Peter said, and he produced the amulet with the branch-like symbol on it. The TikTok man recoiled back, and then he stopped. And he glared. And an indescribable light began to glow within his eyes. Peter could see his fingers sharpen into blades. You have made a very grave mistake, dear Peter. You should run. Peter stood up from that chair and ran, running as fast as his legs could carry him. All the while, he heard behind him the scraping of the TikTok man's limbs on the ancient stones of the alleyway. Running as fast as he could, he began to see the alleys becoming less aged and more comfortingly normal. With hope in his heart, he felt a burst of strength, and he ran as fast as he could. You haven't seen the last of me, Mr. Monk. He stepped into the street and suddenly tripped and fell and screamed in horror at his doom. But nothing happened. He looked up and the alleyway was gone, with no sign of it ever being there. Peter was free of that horrible TikTok man. From that day forth, Peter was a changed man. He sold his home, his factory, and donated much of his wealth to charity. He moved back home and cared for his mother, ensuring that she lived well for the rest of her life. And Peter was sure that all was well and he would live out the rest of his days without consequence. When one day 
he came home, and he entered the den, and he saw his mother standing there. And he heard it. Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. And that is the tale of the Tick-Tock Man in the Clockwork Heart. Thank you for listening to our tale of Brass Lovecraftian Terror. If you enjoyed it, please take a look at our Patreon page to learn how you can earn great rewards while also supporting us. We appreciate even the smallest of contributions, as they allow us to continue to release new stories every week for free on Wednesdays, and also to provide bonus stories for your listening pleasure. We would also like to extend a special thank you to Cat for their support this month. It means the world to us. Visit us at thescoldcircle.com to view our story archive, sorted by origin and region, and to stay up to date with all of our current developments. Once again, thank you for listening to our story.